So the first thing to pick is lettuce. And um, we've overwintered some lettuce in the polytunnel here. And um, they're absolutely perfect at the moment. This is the variety called Saladin, which I love, which is really, really, really crunchy and delicious. So that's going to give me the crunch for my salad bowl. And the sort of bulk, really, because um, it's got a gentle flavour. Uh, and then this is another variety that we grow lots of here called Reine de Glace, Queen of Ice, bad French accent, I'm afraid. Um, and uh, I was introduced to this by Raymond Blanc and absolutely love it. And again, it's, it's said to be a summer lettuce, but we find if we sow it and keep it in the polytunnel or in the shelter site in the garden, we can actually pick pretty much um, sow and grow it all year. And what you'll see is I'm leaving the heart intact because this is classically a hearting lettuce, which you would just take in one go. But what we find is if we leave the heart intact, it will grow back more leaves. Um, and so it makes it much more economic crop uh, to grow, really. So that's my lettuce base. And now I'm going to move on to the salad leaves. And for salad leaves, I tend to pit them and my herbs into a rubber band um, so that they don't all get muddled up in the bottom of the, of the colander or you know, if I had a bigger colander. Um, and it just makes washing and then tearing them up into the salad bowl easier because the thing about these is that you don't want very much. They've got a really, really strong flavour. So if I bunch them like that and just pop them in, they, they stay together. And so that's red giant mustard, which is really, really hot and strong. And then this is red frills mustard. And I'm actually going to pinch out the tips of these because these are just beginning to run up to flower and I don't want that. Um, I want to keep on picking them a bit more. And so just by pinching out the top, you can actually stop them running up to flower. So like that. And, you know, even this makes uh, really nice crunchy eating. And the great thing about these oriental salad leaves is they have fabulous flavour, raw and texture, but they also make wonderful greens for a stir fry. Um, so they're very versatile. And uh, if we have tons like there that are almost getting too big, we also use them to make soup. Um, so you can see already it's looking pretty. I've only got three ingredients. I've got my two lettuces, um, I've got my red giant mustard, my red frills mustard. So we've got beautiful colours here already. And then I'm just going to add a few leaves of Mitsuna to give me more green. And then we'll go and get some herbs. So just bunch that. And now we'll um, go and get some French sorrel to go in here. Grab my calendar. That'll be plenty for all the size. And just a few flowers. I don't want very many of the salad herbs because they're strong. And then finally, finally, some edible flowers. Great. So now we can go and construct the salad. There we go.